Hello, what's up YouTube? Welcome to another amazing video, compliments of the season. Today, I just wanted to share with you guys um, my process on how I directed the uh, MTN TVC. It's my latest project. You can check it out on my page if you haven't seen it. That project was very, 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 very challenging for me and I felt, oh, I should make a YouTube video about this and just share my process and some of the challenges I encountered while creating the project. So without wasting so much of your time, let's get into it. So as usual, um, the agency reached out to a production company that hired me as a director to direct this project. Special shout out to the Film Craft Production. They shared with me the script, but immediately I read the script, there was one challenge that hit me immediately. Like they wanted the TVC to be 10 seconds. I'm like, what? 10 seconds. Apparently it's called a TVC Stings. They are called Stings. Very, very quick, pass the message as fast as possible in a very creative way. And the script was so complex and I was trying to think about how do they expect us to execute this entire thing in 10 seconds. So let me just break down the script briefly. The idea was they wanted a local farmer being enabled by the MTN network and he's being enabled to have meetings with his investors, engineers and also his creative design team to execute the project that he's working on. And I was thinking, so I was supposed to have all these meetings and I was supposed to execute this in 10 seconds, but the agency knew what they wanted and I had to step up and make this happen. So many ideas came through my mind, but the one that actually stuck the most, I felt was really feasible for us to execute this was the use of a one take transition. So the idea I came up with was the camera was going to go around him 360 and while the camera is going around him, he continues to change. He just morphs into the new character or the new outfit of what is represented at the particular time. So that was what I ended up going with. So the main problem was how we're going to execute this in a way that is going to go smoothly and perfectly well. The first idea I wanted to try was to use like a 360 track around the character. So we're going to lay like tracks around him in the center and the, the, the camera is going to go around. But when we started to do our recce view, immediately realized one major problem and the major problem was for us to arrange a 360 track we're going to need a very large space for the tracks to actually connect and go around so his tables will be in the middle and the track goes around him but the problem with that was that um, most of the spaces we were seeing were not so large enough to contain a 360 track and the ones that were large enough didn't look realistic for a farm office it's going to be like the farm office was in the middle of a big hall and that wasn't working out so we had to go back to the drawing board and actually think of how to make this work so the next thing we had to come up with was i was very skeptical of this but i knew if we could execute it perfectly if we do it well that would actually work it was to do like an overhead rig where the camera goes around him in, a th in 360. So they're going to rig the camera like a ceiling fan and the camera will just, will just push the camera around the character. And yes, that was going to work. But now the actual idea was how do we get professionals to actually ex ex execute this perfectly in Nigeria? And mind you, this was coming up like three days to the shoot when this idea came to me this alternate alternate idea came to me and so we had to sell searching for the best group guys in nigeria that could actually build this rig literally all the dope group guys we knew that could potentially pull this off we were literally booked for that period because it was very very late and but we came across this one guy called um babatunde i think babatunde akini dope grip guy and yes we had to commission the project to actually view this rig for us and he assured us that he could do it well and it was going to work a day to the shoot we also went there to just check on to do the technical recce with the dp and the gaffer and then we saw the rig and the rig wasn't working it was not going to work the rig was so off balance that we wouldn't be able to get a 360 um 360 movement around the character in the exact same way. The farmer has to change from the engineer's outfit to the suits with the meeting with the investors and then to the casual with meeting with his designers. So I had to do the take about three times the exact same way when it goes and change, change, we do it take again, change, we take again. Pointed it out, 
to the grip guy and he said oh i see the problem that i was going to fix it at this time i was really really skeptical i'm thinking okay this guy doesn't get this thing right what are we going to do and i was really thinking of okay maybe we should just do the steady cam or maybe we should just change the entire concept because this was less than 24 hours to the shoot but he said i was going to fix it and at this point we had no choice but to just believe it that i was going to fix it and yes the shoot day came uh, we got on set he fixed it i was still a little bit skeptical but the rig was looking like it was going to work we had like counterweights like balance on both sides and he had to make some adjustments to the rig and yes eventually we did the shoot but i was just very very careful that i made sure the rig went around the character like four or five times at least just to be extremely sure that was going to that was going on well and then we did third take with the uh with the casual when he was having the meetings with the designer but one thing i had to add to that was i needed that take to actually slow down and end on the empty router because that was our ending so when it went around him two or three times we slowed down at the end and stopped in front of the empty router and yes that was what made the cut to the end we had all that scenes though but did not make the cut at the end but eventually i was very very glad the rig worked and yeah we got the shots rightly i was extremely careful to actually check the shots in the editing software to be sure that the transition actually worked before i called it a wrap this shoot has literally been one of my shoot i've taken the highest risk on and i'm glad i actually did it and i'm glad it came out really well big shout out to the entire cast and crew big shout out to remy jones who was a producer big shout out to film craft production and big shout out to all of you that supported me have been supporting me on this channel and on my instagram please subscribe to this channel i love to do more breakdowns like this of some of my projects my commercials music videos and everything and yeah thank you for sticking with me see you guys on my next video happy new year in advance take care